Uh, and even if we do, there's a chance that his heart could stop beating. Has he discussed his wishes with you? I, I told you, he doesn't talk. Temps 103.4. We're gonna need a lot of volume fast. Page core day for a cut down. Um, uh, does he have a DNR? I do not resuscitate or no, no, no. He doesn't have anything like that. You have to help him. Okay. Page core day. That was my nickname. It was cool. Really? Yeah. Are you ready? Who fights for the character? There's so many people in the show. I mean, does the individual actor go complain to the producer? Or, I mean, to make sure you get your little part? Well, we have a pretty terrific writing staff, and each of the writers are sort of designated various characters to look after their story arcs. But in terms of the week-to-week -week continuity, a lot of it's incumbent upon the actor to keep track of. So you have to be able to pace out, you know, whether. Last week you had a big, you know, emotional breakdown. You probably don't want to have one this week too, because it tends to look unprofessional after a while. So it uh, it's up to you to sort of pace out the maturation of the character. But I have to give 100% of the credit to the writers who make sure that you don't travel the same road twice. So you buy them something for Christmas or yeah, booze usually yeah, whatever doesn't works with whatever them. Whatever them. Uh, what was it that you missed about doing this, other than you know a small stipend at the end of the month, that type of thing? Um, I miss, you know, the camaraderie. It's been 10 years now for me, and I spend more time with these people than I do with my own family. So there's a, a lot of really great, rewarding friendships, and, you know, it gets to the point where you see something funny, and there's certain people you look forward to talking to about it the next day. And uh, that was what I was looking forward to most, is just coming back and enjoying the relationships that we built up over the last decade. Mm -hmm. This is Jimmy Carter on the set of ER. Who are you, sir? I'm Dr. John Carter. And I'm Jimmy Carter, and, and we'll I'm have some Dr. doctor John talk Carter. about that Viagra that he's... And I'm Dr. John Carter. Yes, it is. And we'll do that in a little bit right here on Channel 4 News Today. And one more time. I am Dr. John Carter. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Carter. And I'm John Carter. Yes, and we're the Carter family, and we're going to be singing at the Opry this weekend. But in the meantime, we'll be on Channel 4 News tonight talking about ER. The Carter family is a good Opry actor. That's right. That's right. That's normal than the last one. Yes. Well, I was going to have, you know, I've got some a cough that I need to do, but that's for a whole other thing. <coughs> you have to bend over. Yes, right. I had an ugly woman drop my pants last week when I had a shot. It was, it was just a whole other story. What do you okay. think is the flirt on the set? I tell you. <laughs> Are you ready, darling? Yes, I am, Jim. All right. What is the appeal mm -hmm. of an actress of ER? Hmm. The appeal of an actress on ER would be that they are smart people. Heroic, dedicated to their art of healing people. Is that serious enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> how do you make a name for yourself on this show, though? I mean, how does someone break out? There's 11 people on this show that you got to fight over, plus the uh, extras and the uh, guest stars. Hmm. <laughs> I don't. Really, we don't concentrate on that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, actually, I love the fact that the show is an ensemble. It really helps to create such a family and. It's, it's a great way to work, and you don't have to work every day, which is mm -hmm. sort of nice, too. That's good. That's mm -hmm. always good. What's the most fun about the show? Same uh, thing? Uh, the most fun, yeah, absolutely. Be, because it's always different. You, you know, you're not always working with the same people, and you have new people coming in all the time, and it really helps you to just, you know, make you not be stale, not use the same old tricks all the time, you know, because whenever you're working with somebody else, it changes your, your approach. Anything you'd like to confess to or anything like that before we conclude? I'm a lazy ass. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, things, to, uh, things to confess. Um, hmm, confession, confession time. Uh, I, 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 I'm one of the few actresses that actually love where I'm working at. How about that? Oh, Can't wow. be that. Wow. We have this child here as my granddaughter. She has... Watch these things oh, till the cute. till these till the zinc runs off or whatever they're made of of these uh, VHS things. Unbelievable! That is such a big thing in our house. Good, good. Unbelievable. You have to see number two. Yeah. Well, they'll believe me. It'll be an investment. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is really different than shooting a movie, though. Right. I mean, because you can see the ceiling for one thing. Right. How is this show just really different for your skills? Uh, the pace is incredibly different. Um, on Scooby Doo, or you know, one of the, some of the movies I've done, we shoot maybe two, three pages a day. And uh, on ER, we shoot about 11. So it's, <laughs> it's a lot faster. And uh, just the actual pace of the show is a lot faster than most things you work on. It's incredibly technical, and uh, it makes it a, a huge challenge. But it, there's never a dull moment, because there's so much to do and so much to learn. When you rehearse, does a nurse or a doctor or whoever 
rehearse with you and show you where to put your hands or what you're supposed to do if you've got something technical to do? Yeah, we have doctors on set and sometimes we have nurses on set and they're here all the time to tell us how to say certain things because some of the words can be difficult. And uh, not only that, but just how you feel when you do certain procedures and how they look and how they should look and, you know, kind of the emotional atmosphere around them. So it's a lot more to worry about than just, you know, your lines. That's the, oh, almost definitely. the least of the things you got to do. Definitely. Well, it's funny because you learn your lines at home. You go home and you do your homework and you learn your lines and you get ready for your day at work. But you come to work and you have so much movement and it's so choreographed that you have to relearn everything. So <laughs> you learn it twice. We're doing weird.